Okay, so this song is big and small. It uses three chords. There's the G, one finger there, one finger there, and one finger there. Okay? And then when you play that, you play the bottom finger, bottom string, and then those ones. So boom. And then you switch to the C chord. Okay, finger here finger here, finger here, and then you just hit one of these two over here and then ideally you hit that one but just and then you go to the D chord which is here that guy here, that guy here, and that one so you do that and then the same kind of thing it really doesn't matter. You hit a lower one and then the three upper ones is how it goes. So big and small. And uh, you go, Some things are big, very, very big. And some things are small, very, very small. Let's name some things that are big, some that are small. Whales. Please. Watermelons. Trees. And you just kind of call out things and the kids yell out if it's big or if it's small. So they got a couple of seconds to decide. And it doesn't have to rhyme. Music will carry it if it doesn't. And so it's just that simple. Those things are big. Those things are small. Some things are in between, not big or small at all. But call out if you can, if you think it's big or small. Tennis courts. Jupiter. It's big. A fork. Big. Penny, small. And you can just think of things that are big or small. They don't have to rhyme. Just call it out. And the kids will get fun yelling. So it's just, yeah, there it is. So again, G, some things are big, very, very big. Some things are small, very, very small. Call out if these things are big or if they are small. A flag, bugs, puppies, trucks, apples, fleas, the White House. Speakers, ears, watermelons, Timmy in the corner, grown ups, and it just goes like that. And you can probably do that to perpetuity there. Um, yeah.